Hi there, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rainbows, and today I am making a very, very quick and easy craft. It's a Cricut HTV ornament, and these are permanent. You don't need to seal them. They are a lot of fun to make. If you'd like to make them, stick around, and as always, please like this video so I know you're here crafting with me. Now, I am highlighting the Easy Press. I love this little tiny little thing, but you can use an iron <laughs> that you have. We're going to use these wood rounds, which are various sizes, and again, as always, all the uh, tips and supplies are on the link below in the description box. So this part is optional. This is a vinyl um, heat transfer tape. And then we're going to measure each piece. So you are going to want a ruler so you can cut your design. Now, cutting machines, I have a ton of free designs for you. Here are a few that are just Christmas related. But if you go to ruffles I have oodles of free designs. So you're going to let your cutting machine cut out the size design on heat transfer vinyl. So you're going to cut it exactly like this. You're going to put the plastic side down on the cutting mat, load the mat side so it only cuts the mat vinyl. Now once it's cut, we're just going to use our little pick tool to pull up one edge. Now you are leaving the design on this plastic sheet. So with heat transfer vinyl, this all comes together. You don't need a separate transfer sheet, but you're just going to remove the designs um, outside or negative space so that I'm right now, you can see how easy this comes up and it's really soft. I don't know why I always think that. But when you're weeding these things, this is called weeding when you're removing the vinyl, you can see that, see how easy camp, it adhered to the transfer sheet, but then the E on sleep came up. So you just have to go slow, but if you do go slow, it's so fast. I mean, this whole thing, I mean, the entire craft, cutting the design, well, sizing the design, cutting the design, everything took me less than 10 minutes. Um, so anyway, once you have your design weeded, for the most part, you're going to go in and get any letters. This is very tiny lettering. Um, so you're just going to remove the pieces and I put them on my hand and find them later. So you can see here, this is our design. And all we're going to do now is prep our um, area here. So I just move my tools out of the way. I grab that little piece of heat transfer tape, which again is optional. Just don't use like scotch tape. Uh, lesson learned there. Uh, so you just, the backing of this vinyl is actually sticky, so you can use that as well. But here's why I like the transfer tape. I put it on one side. It doesn't matter if it's the top or the side or whatever. After I've centered my design, I just flip my design up and then warm up my blank, which in this case is the wood, and then flip my design back down. I grab a Teflon sheet. You can use parchment paper, but it comes in with most of them. It either comes with a parchment sheet or a Teflon sheet. And then this is real time. I take my easy press. I put it on for five seconds. I put it on for a few seconds down at the bottom of the design, and then I hit both sides. If you're using an iron, don't go higher than five and don't have steam on, but that's it. You're going to let this cool for just a few seconds because it's hot, <laughs> but that's it. And you're done. I did both sides. You can tell because this is an ornament for someone. And once you have this, you just remove this transfer sheet and that's it. You don't need to seal it. You totally can. You can put a little greenery or bow or bell and some string. You're done. What do you think? Will you make this fun and easy cricket or silhouette craft with your cutting machine? Or is this the first time you've heard of it? As always, please like this video and subscribe to Ruffles and Rain Boots for more crafty fun. Thanks for being here with me.